So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with an incredibly special The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately but I have been just having some amazing experiences in this game and last night I was lucky enough to have one of my favourite all time experiences. This was incredible. I was hunting snow leopards, trying to get as many respawns as possible, which is something I have been doing ever since we first got access to this map, is killing as many snow leopards as possible, hoping for, you know, trophy snow leopards. And ever since we found out what all the rares were, it's been my goal to get all of the different rares in single player to be able to film them up close. And we obviously got the leucistic whilst uh, hunting for the Great One Tar not too long ago. But last night, as I was running around trying to find where my leopards were to try and get some more respawns, I picked up the track of a sort of midway estimate male, and I was just chasing it along, waiting to get a spot on it so that I could actually shoot it and get the respawn, when I picked up the disturbed vegetation that said melanistic. And I just about lost my mind. Look at this cat. He is absolutely stunning. So initially I found him in that rest zone and so I came back and got footage of him in that rest zone but unfortunately it just wasn't the easiest place to get any really good footage of this guy. So I spent hours trying to get him to go to his feed zone after that rest zone and actually leave tracks because sometimes I would wait and then there'd be no tracks or actually at one point I followed him to this spot and he never left a feed zone it just there was no zone at all so I didn't know that this was actually his zone location so it took ages but finally managed to locate his feed zone in this area and managed to get some really really up close footage of this incredible cat I mean this was a dream for me to get this kind of footage I didn't want to really hunt snow leopards in multiplayer because I you know if I found a melanistic or an albino or something in multiplayer of course I would shoot it but in multiplayer it's a case of see it get it down as quickly as possible because you know crashes or hackers can join and ruin your hunt you know there's 101 things that can go wrong so my goal has been to get the rares in single player and we obviously got the leucistic like I mentioned and I got that footage of him that I was really happy with and so to get number two which is the melanistic is absolutely amazing so we just need to get the albino now in single player which i'm gonna keep hunting snow leopards and killing as many as possible and hope that one day we'll see an albino pop up in my single player too but the melanistic i mean i can't choose a favorite between the albinos and the melas for these guys they're both just incredible i mean look at this cat this is such a rare thing like snow leopards in general there's only a few of them on anyone's map at any given time so getting diamond ones getting rare ones is something really really rare and that's why i wanted to be able to you know appreciate the moment of coming across one and it was so much fun with the leucistic but as soon as i picked up that melanistic track i was like this is literally one of my dream animals here on sundarpatan and i started freaking out my heart was in my mouth i was panicking i was like there is no way that there is a Mela snow leopard on the map. That is actually incredible. He's so, so beautiful. Like you can see he's not completely just like a jet black with no markings. You can see he still has the the rosette spots there that are visible, which it it's just magnificent. Absolutely incredible. And when he turns and you see his eyes, the eyes on this cat are just stunning i mean everything about this animal is stunning and this this is my favorite thing to do in this game is you know find really really rare trophies and then get to film them that's why i do the great one hunts the way i do that's why i do all of these different hunts for these rare creatures and you know trying to get them in single player and then just loving filming them it's such a cool experience for me now after we got 
all of that footage, which, you know, that's like three or four hours of footage that I've cut down into the best moments. But finally, I decided that it was actually time to take this guy out. And we are actually going to use the air rifle. But that was so cool. As I'm about to take him, he mating calls while we have him in the scope. So, so cool. And then he stands back up from feeding. I felt like that was, you know, my shot opportunity. I took the shot. And as you can see, he does not go very far before he actually drops. We could see that vital blood instantly on the ground. It was such a nice clear view. And I was I was panicking so, so hard about taking that shot. I was um, in Flinter's stream chat over on Twitch at the time whilst I was, you know, recording all of this and chatting away in there. And I said, I'm going to take him with the air rifle. And Flint said, oh, that's a bold choice. And I was like, you've just made me like 10, ten times more nervous than I already was. And so I was freaking out. My heart was in my mouth as I took that shot. But as you will have seen, everything went nice and smooth. And we managed to get this guy with the air rifle, which is so, so cool. And just appreciating the details on this guy. Sort of the yellowish green eyes, which in some lights they look way more yellow and then in some some lighting they look way more green and then like i said they're not completely just pure black fur but sort of black with reddish tones and then you have the spots it's just fantastic and he is a level seven so he does actually make gold at 27.54 what an incredible cat i mean just wow that is one of my all-time favourite trophies, favourite hunts, favourite experiences. Everything about this was so unbelievably cool. And I chose the air rifle because, you know, I took my last Great One Tower with the air rifle and I said I wanted to use it more on more trophies. And I knew I wanted to get super close to this guy and, you know, be in class four. It was, it was just a perfect fit to try and take this guy with the air rifle, I thought. And I thought it's probably something that maybe a lot of people haven't done is shot a snow leopard with the air rifle. So it just, it all worked out and I decided that that was the weapon we were going to go with. And I am so, so glad I actually did take this guy with the air rifle. It just made it even more intense. And just wow. Just wow. I can't get over how just cool this cat looks. Like I said, those eyes, they definitely seem to be way more green in some lighting and way more yellow in other lighting and I was noticing that as I was filming him and um, just the bright colour of those eyes compared to the very dark body it just looks insane I mean they did such a fantastic job with the models and the furs for these snow leopards I mean I never ever dreamed of seeing snow leopards in Call of the Wild I just thought it was something that would never happen and then Sundar Patan released and it shocked all of us with having snow leopards and tigers on it. And I was like, this, this is epic. This is the kind of thing, you know, beyond my wildest dreams to be able to chase after these guys in, you know, my, basically my favourite hunting game of all time. And then getting to chase after the, the trophies for these species is just absolutely, you know, for me, it's insane. And something, like I said, that I never thought I would get to see. And I'm so just beyond thrilled that I managed to actually get this guy last night. Just, I was so excited. I couldn't contain my excitement when I picked up that track and my heart just stopped when I picked up that vegetation and it said melanistic. I just lost my mind. Started messaging everyone I knew saying, there's the melanistic, you know, because I've been shooting as many of these cats as possible, like I said, since we very very first got access to this map in early access just trying to get as many trophies for this incredible species as possible so seeing it pay off with the four trophy leopards i've had off of this map so far you know the two diamonds and now two rares it's been epic absolutely epic and getting them all in single player to me has made it even more special because i've got to have these up close encounters with them all and it's been just so incredibly epic but that is going to be it for this video. Uh, this guy 
he just deserved his own video you know i wanted this to be its own video not just in a trophies montage it's such a special trophy and the footage and everything it just i felt deserved its own video such an incredible cat and hopefully one day we'll get to you know do this sort of thing with an albino too i'm gonna keep shooting them and hope that one pops up but i couldn't be more thrilled with getting this trophy what an amazing experience but that is going to be it for this one. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your amazing support as always. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.